Clowns have captivated audiences across cultures and generations, celebrated for their unique ability to entertain and amuse. Originating in various theatrical performances, clowns have evolved substantially since their inception. In the realms of ancient theater, figures resembling modern clowns were often employed to highlight the absurdity of human behavior through humor and satire. By the 19th century, clowns had become central figures in circus acts, often embodying a childlike spirit and serving to delight audiences with comical antics and physical humor. However, beneath the jovial facade lies a darker interpretation that has contributed to the phenomenon known as coulrophobia, the fear of clowns. This fear extends beyond individual experiences. It is deeply rooted in psychological processes and societal influences that have transformed clowns from harmless entertainers to figures often associated with dread and horror. The shift from clown as entertainer to creepy figure can be attributed to several psychological factors. First and foremost, the exaggerated features of clowns such as their painted smiles, large shoes and vibrant wigs trigger a sense of discomfort in many people. These features blur the line between reality and illusion, creating an uncanny effect that can provoke fear rather than laughter. This discomfort is often linked to the concept of the uncanny valley, a theory suggesting that entities resembling humans but possessing distinct abnormalities elicit feelings of unease and even repulsion. Historically, instances of malevolent clowns have further solidified the idea that clowns can be deceptive figures hiding sinister intentions. Notable cases include John Wayne Gacy, a notorious serial killer who performed as Pogo the Clown. His horrific crimes have contributed significantly to the public's fearful perception of clowns. Additionally, the portrayal of clowns in horror films as Stephen King's seminal novel It and its adaptation shows embedded this fear into the collective consciousness, creating a stereotype where clowns are often depicted as villains. As the concept of the creepy clown gained traction, it reached a notable peak during the clown sightings phenomenon of the mid-2010s. Starting in 2016, Widespread reports of individuals dressed as clowns began surfacing across the United States. These sightings were often characterized by unsettling encounters where clowns would appear in rural areas near schools or lurking in public parks, sometimes carrying weapons or behaving in strange manners. The fear and suspicion these clowns incited were further exacerbated by social media, where images, videos and anecdotes spread rapidly, creating a mini-epidemic of clown panic. For instance, the viral nature of incidents often resulted in places being shut down temporarily or heightened police patrolling in communities, which altered the public's sense of safety. The widespread fear prompted some communities to form vigilante patrols, with citizens taking to the streets to confront the perceived threats posed by these clowns. This phenomenon underscores how quickly fear can escalate in an age dominated by social media, as people often reacted more to sensationalized reports than to actual threats. To understand the phenomenon better, one can analyze specific sightings and their impact on local communities. For example, in South Carolina, a series of clown sightings led to school lockdowns and police investigations, illustrating how quickly fear can translate into security concerns. This situational misunderstanding reflects broader anxieties surrounding safety and societal norms in an increasingly complex world. The patterns seen in these sightings often resulted in people questioning the intentions behind the eerie appearances and whether they were merely pranks or signaled deeper societal issues. The role of the media in shaping public perception during this time cannot be understated. News outlets across the country reported on these sightings, often amplifying the fear and hysteria Sensational headlines and dramatic retellings fed into the public narrative, strengthening the association between clowns and danger. 
Social media platforms served as both conduits for panic and spaces for humor. Memes and jokes about the clowns proliferated even as reports of unsettling encounters flourished. This duality highlights how modern media can transform isolated incidents into nationwide phenomena, reflecting collective anxieties about safety and the unknown. Moreover, the evolution of public perceptions surrounding clowns illustrates a broader societal trend toward viewing once harmless figures with skepticism and fear. Traditional representations of clowns have dwindled, particularly as horror films and Halloween culture reinforce the notion of clowns as terrifying creatures. Halloween costumes featuring clowns often emphasize the grotesque with exaggerated features that accentuate the horror aspects rather than the comedic ones. This shift has implications not only for how clowns are portrayed in media, but also for those experiencing chorophobia, a fear that can manifest in various anxiety symptoms, including panic attacks, avoidance behavior, and social withdrawal. Many individuals may feel alienated or embarrassed about their fears, leading to a desire to conceal them. Mental health professionals often encourage open discussions about these fears, employing therapeutic techniques to help individuals overcome their anxieties, including exposure therapy or cognitive behavioral approaches. Examining the broader implications of the fear of clowns also invites a discussion about societal anxieties and fears projected onto these figures. Clowns, once symbols of joy and entertainment, have become vehicles for deeper societal fears. This transition may reflect a loss of innocence and security in contemporary life, where uncertainties and dangers feel ever-present. Clowns embody this tension, their playful nature clashes with the potential for malice, symbolizing the duality of human nature itself. The notion of a benign figure harboring darker intentions mirrors many contemporary fears surrounding trust and safety, particularly in the face of social breakdowns or rising tensions in society. In conclusion, the complex relationship between clowns and fear is a multifaceted issue steeped in historical, psychological and cultural contexts. From their origins as whimsical entertainers to their transformation into eerie figures of horror, clowns embody a paradox that resonates with contemporary anxieties. The clown sightings of the 2000s serve as a stark reminder of how quickly perceptions can shift in the digital age, where social media plays a crucial role in shaping public narratives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more killer cliff notes. And we'll see you in the next one.